Hello everyone, today you'll learn how to model this bouncing ball simulation in MATLAB. So watch this tutorial until the end. We need to define the surface of ground as an event location. That's all it takes. A bouncing ball has a simple equation. In the y direction its acceleration is equal to acceleration of gravity. So let me specify the problem completely. We have a ball located in the height of 10 meters from the ground. We let go of it, so the initial velocity is zero. Find the ball path after hitting the ground 10 times. Suppose the ball loses 10% of its velocity after each bounce. We start from what we already know. I have a second order initial value problem, which is easy to solve using ODE45 command. Inside the script, I define a function to provide this equation. If you don't know how to solve this equation using OD45, make sure you watch my other tutorial first. I'll leave the link in the description. My state variables are going to be y and y prime. So ds dt is equal to y prime and y double prime. y prime is the second element of s and y double prime is negative g. I write the OD45 command. Let's solve it for 10 seconds. The initial position was the height of 10 meters and initial velocity is zero. I plot the result. Now I want to define the surface of ground as an event location. Basically, I want to tell MATLAB to stop the code when the ball hits the ground. In these problems, I don't know when I want to stop the simulation, so I cannot write an exact time to stop the code. To do so, I have to define an event function. I define this function with these three output arguments. You usually don't want to change these three. And the input arguments are the same as this function. I explain each of these three arguments. Is terminal means do you want to stop the code when the event happens? If yes, enter 1 and if no, enter 0. We certainly want to stop the code when the ball hits the ground. Check is the condition of the event. When this relation becomes equal to 0, the code event has happened. In our problem, when y becomes 0, the ball has reached the ground. So check is equal to first array of s. And I set the direction to 0. It is the same as setting no direction. This variable specifies whether this check relation goes from positive to negative or goes from negative to positive. If you don't care, just leave it at zero. In our problem, y goes from positive values towards negative ones. So the direction is negative one. Our event function is ready. I want to solve my OD45 with this event. I add an ODE set command. I have explained some examples of using ODE set in my previous tutorials. The link is in the description. I define an event. Make sure you write this expression correctly. It is events, not event. And you always need this at sign to point to your event function. Now you see the code has stopped after 1.4 seconds. Let's play around with our settings. I can look at t and y to see that at this time the ball hits the ground. Yes, y is 0 and the velocity is negative 14. If I add two more output arguments, MATLAB tells me the time, position and velocity of the ball at the moment of hitting the ground. Now I change the isTerminal value to 0. Here the code runs for 10 seconds, so it didn't stop at the event. But it has saved the event properties in these variables. And finally, I change the direction. 
the check relation is heading in the negative direction. So if I set the direction to negative 1, the code stops at the event. But if I change it to positive 1, the event never happens and the code won't stop. Now I want to solve for 9 more bounces of the ball. I write a for loop with 9 iterations. Each time it solves the same differential equation with the same event. But when the ball hits the ground and it bounces back, the velocity changes its sign. So I should change the initial conditions. At this moment, the height is 0 and velocity is negative 14. So in the next iteration, the position is going to be 0 and the velocity changes its sign. I should add two new variables to save the solution of each iteration and store them all together. I named them tplot and yplot. So after solving each iteration, t and y will be merged with tplot and yplot. Also, the velocity changes at each iteration. It is always the last element of yplot. So I put y plot of end as the velocity. Remember that it also loses 10% of its momentum, so it must be multiplied by 0 0.9. I plot the result at the end. The result is so good, it is just not smooth, although it is highly accurate. The trick is to add more points in the middle. If I look at the options variables, I can see all of the possible settings for ODE45. We have defined this event. I have also explained relative and absolute tolerance in my previous tutorials. Now the trick is to add a refined setting. I set it to 10, you can always choose a bigger value, but for me, 10 is enough. Now it is beautiful. I also use comet instead of plot, it is so satisfying to watch. And that's it, thank you for watching, please hit the subscribe button and bye bye.